so I release myself in your presence. I release my spirit to worship. So carry me to where you are. I want to be where. into victory we shall overcome oh yes we can we shall overcome oh yes we can we shall overcome oh yes we can
gives us strength. Yes, we can do it. God has given us the authority to tear down walls that stand in our way. Stand in our way. Let them set up a roadblock. We will run through it. Run through it. Give us a mountain to climb. We will move it out the way. We shall overcome. We shall overcome, oh yes we can We are more than conquerors, aren't you know we? We shall overcome, oh yes we can Let no one stop you from dreaming Keep on believing in yourself Keep on dreaming Some may even say you can't do it Trying to put doubts in your mind. Doubts in your mind. Let us go up at once and possess it. All the battle is already won. God said it. God said it. We believe it. We believe it. That settles it. That settles it. We shall overcome who oh, yes, we can. We shall overcome who oh, yes, we can. The following program is sponsored by friends and partners of Kingdom Dominion Church of God. Stay tuned for today's message.
Welcome to Kingdom Dominion Church of God, where the presence of the Lord dwells. Just want to thank you this morning for stopping by and worshiping and glorifying God with us. Um, I just want to welcome you to, uh, to Palm Sunday, our Palm Sunday service, and uh, just feel free to relax and enjoy yourself in the Lord. We are going to start in prior. We're going to have prior. We're going to start out in prior. But okay, and uh, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and read a psalm for you. It is great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness, beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion on the side of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her places for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw, and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there, and pain as a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tar Tarshish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God. God will, uh, will establish it forever. We have taught of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise. Unto the ends of the earth, thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her, her um, bulwarks. Consider her, pa her palaces that ye may tell if, uh, the, sorry, that ye may tell it to the generation following. Fourteenth and last, for this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. Hallelujah. Just want to just wanna thank God for his loving kindness and his goodness towards us. He is a faithful God. He is a loving God. It was a day like today. And, um, well, not exactly like today, but but it was a season, it, it was uh, the, the Good Friday season where, where we celebrate, uh, celebrate where Jesus was coming into Jerusalem. And they were singing and they were praising him, Hosanna, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And they were putting him on a pedestal. But if we should pause right there, I bet they did not see what was coming because their expectation of who God should have been or, or the Messiah should have been, their expectation of who the Messiah should have been was not what, what, what actually he was. He was lowly, was born in a manger. He was a king of kings, the Lord of lords. Yet, yet, even though they celebrated him, days from that, a couple of days from that, they will be crucifying him. My God, my God, what an atmosphere, what an atmosphere that must have been. 
I can imagine the rejoicing. The children are singing. The children, the, the women and the men are putting down palm branches and welcome as he came in on a donkey. But, the, but this Messiah, he came to earth for a purpose. And, and he was, it, it's as if he was given as a lamb to the world, to the slaughter for the world on behalf of the world. My God, we just want to celebrate him today, our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords. That's why we cannot forget this moment, the moment from when he entered into Jerusalem and now and now we are celebrating him as, as he walked through Jerusalem, but he was on his way to the cross. Little did they know, little did they know. At this time, we're going to invite uh, our evangelist, our minister, Minister Denise Campbell, to pray for us. Redeem when my burden of sin was high. Redeemed when my soul was condemned to die. Redeemed for the price I could not pay. I hope, hallelujah, redeem. Father, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus, we come to give you thanks and praise for who you are in our lives and for what you have done. Truly, Lord, this moment, this morning, this time, this season is a moment of preparation for what is to come. And like our pastor said, little did they know. Father, you were being prepared for a task that you were born to do. For this purpose, you came into the world. You came, Lord, and you died a shameful life just to bring hope and redemption to the body of Christ. You didn't, they didn't take your life. Oh God, you gave it up for me. The songwriter said, nothing took his life. With love, he gave it. You gave your life, Lord, so that I can have abundant life. Lord, you came into this world and on a morning like this, when the people begin to spread their garment on the way and waving the palm branches and shouting on the top of their lungs, Hosanna, Hosanna to our King. Little did they know that there were greater things to come. There are those, Lord, that doubted that you are the Son of God. And there were those that mocked you because you declared that you are the Son of God. There are those that didn't understand. And there were those that were just watching from afar off. Whatever category we find ourselves in this morning, the blood that run from your side, that drips from your vein, it is for all of us. And un un unless we accept the blood that was shed for us, then there can be no pardon for our sins. Unless we accept you, Lord, unless we give you our all, unless, Lord, we are prepared, oh God, to walk with you completely, then the shedding of the blood is almost in vain. God, I thank you. When there was no way for man to escape the wrath and the damnation that was over their lives, you sent your son to die. Such a cruel death, but he died anyhow. Lord, this morning, we just want to bless you. We just want to praise you. And in the kingdom this morning, Lord, we are waving our palms. Oh God, whether it's literally or in our heart, and we're saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. God, we're thankful that the name of the Lord is such a strong tower. 
and that the righteous run into it this morning and are safe. God, we're in a pandemic season. People are scared. Fear uh, is taking over the hearts of men. But the righteous can run into you, Lord, and know that we're safe. Will you allow somebody this morning somewhere to run into your safety and find rest in the arms of Jesus? Mighty God, take full control and let your will be done. Now we pray in Jesus' name. Won't you take over the service for us, Lord, and bless everything that should be said and done on today. Stir up the Rima word that will come to our heart and help, Lord, that our hearts will be receptive. Jesus, we're depending on you. Jesus, we're looking to you. Jesus, we're trusting you. We give it all to you this morning. Take full control, Lord. Take over. Some of us, Lord, the very thought of the cro crown of thorn on your head bring tears to our eyes and and we watch lord as you allow them to hang you high and stretch you wide and they place the crown of thorn upon your head and they thought it was over and little did they know oh god that there will be glory after this let your will be done right now we pray in jesus name in jesus name Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. At this time, we're going to ask Sister June to come with our Bible reading. And um, it's going to be taken from Matthew 21, verses 1 to 11. Matthew 21, verses 1 to 11. A reading from the Word of God, as it is written in St. Matthew 21, reading from verses 1 to 11. That's Matthew 21, reading from verses 1 to 11. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Beth Bethage, unto the Mount of Olive, then sent Jesus to disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway he shall find a ass tied, and a colt with her. Loose them and bring them unto me. And if any man say heart unto you, you shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that is might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell he the daughters of Zion, Behold, the king cometh unto thee, meek and sit upon an ass, and a cult and fall of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them and brought the ass and the cult and put on their clothes and they sent them thereon. And very great multitudes spread their garment in the way. Others cut down branches from the tree and straw them in the way. And the multitude that went before and that followed crying saying, O Zana to the son of David, blessed is he who come, blessed is he that come in the name of the Lord, O Zana in the highest. And when he was come in Jerusalem, all the city were, was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. This is a word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory be to God. The word of God is already blessed. Let me welcome you again to the house of God. Those that uh, were um, those that uh, were late, let me welcome you to God's house. God is awesome. God is wonderful. It's another good. Is a, I'm saying Good Friday. It's another. It's another service. It's Palm Sunday service, and we just want to worship and glorify God in His presence. Feel free to worship God. Feel free to glorify Him because He is worthy. He is worthy of all the praises, all the glory. My God deserves all the glory. So let. 
Don't be distracted by anything. Just take this time to worship and to glorify God. And we are going to worship in another fashion. And that is in, a, uh, in the form of singing and glorifying God. At this time, we are going to welcome Minister Fitzroy Wellington to lead us in worship. Zechariah 9 and verse 9. And I'm reading from the message version. Shout and cheer, sons and daughters of Zion. Raise your voice, sons and daughters of Jerusalem. Your king is coming. A good king who made all things right. A humble king riding a donkey a humble king riding a donkey this morning right around the world the Christians are celebrating Palm Sunday hallelujah on this day 2,000 years ago Christ rode into Jerusalem and many cry, many shout Hosanna Hosanna in the highest bless God this morning Hosanna in the highest but according to scriptures on Friday the same mouth shout crucify him the same mouth shout, give us Barabbas. But the good thing this morning is that our God is alive this morning. Amen, Bishop. Our God is alive this morning. And because he lives, you and I can face tomorrow. Hallelujah. You and I can face tomorrow this morning. Could we just go ahead and just give the Lord some praise this morning? Go ahead and give the Lord your best praise this morning. Where are my worshipers this morning? Where are my worshipers this morning? Go ahead and give God praise this morning. We're saying Hosanna in the highest. We're not saying crucify him. We're saying Hosanna in the highest. Go ahead and worship him this morning. He's worthy of all our praises this morning. Hallelujah. God send his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love. Mm -hmm. Healed and forgive he lived and died mm -hmm. to buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my sin
one more time. Can I be shop? God sent his son. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. They called him Jesus. They called him Jesus. The same one that ride into Jerusalem on that donkey. He came to love, healed and forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon and empty. just because he lives this morning if he was still in that tomb this morning you and that life would work nothing our praises would mean nothing but because that tomb is empty this morning hallelujah he lives because that tomb is empty this morning we can shout hosanna in the highest because the tomb is empty this morning, we can magnify and worship our King of Kings and our Lord of Lords this morning because the tomb is empty this morning. Do you have something to give God praise for this morning? Where are my worshipers in this morning? Feel free to open your mics this morning and praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning. He Hallelujah. is worthy Glory. of all your praises Hallelujah. this morning. Glory I don't, I, 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 here. We adore care you, Daddy Jesus. Where you are. I don't yes, care the position you're in this glory morning. He is Hallelujah. worthy glory, this morning. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. This morning, for me, for me, Bishop, this this Easter season is all about gratitude. Yes. That's what it's about this morning. I, 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 I was pray, I'm praying from last night into this morning, and all I can hear is gratitude this morning. Hallelujah. Gratitude for going on the cross. Hallelujah. Gratitude for, for taking all those embarrassment. Gratitude for traveling such a long way with the cross. I, I might sound like I'm preaching, but I'm not preaching this morning. I'm just I'm just showing gratitude this Hallelujah. morning. I'm in a spirit of gratitude this morning because he lives. He lives. I can face tomorrow yes, this morning. Yes. Where are my worshippers this morning? Oh, Open your hallelujah. microphones and just release them. To the man that who laid down his life for you. You know what? As 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 loving as you are, your mother wouldn't do it. Some of us mothers wouldn't do it, our fathers wouldn't do it, husbands wouldn't do it, kids wouldn't do it, because nobody wants to die, but he died. 
died, he died, he died so that you and I might be free. You and I, you and I can lift our hands and praise him this morning. Uh, lift some hands in radio land this morning and just worship God this Hallelujah. morning. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Lift those hands and worship Thank him this God. morning. Lift those hands and worship him this morning. It's all about King Jesus this morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all about gratitude this morning. Gratitude, gratitude. Show some gratitude this morning. Show some gratitude this morning. He's worthy. He's worthy. Go ahead and worship him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Sister June, can you open your microphone for me? I'm going to ask you just to pray a prayer of gratitude for me. Keep that going, Bishop. We're showing gratitude this morning. Jesus, Hallelujah. thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For you, Jesus. We give you all the thanks, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. We have in you. Oh, Lord, what a friend we have in you, dear God. You give us, Jesus, what we do not deserve. But, God, because you are mighty, dear Jesus. You are our keeper, Lord. You are our Father, dear Jesus. Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, you Lord. Hallelujah. God, and you come in to take care of us, Jesus. And Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you for giving your life for your people, Jesus. For your people, dear God, that you bestow here, dear Hallelujah. Jesus. We are not here by accident, dear God. You put us here for a reason, dear Jesus. It's only for us, dear God, to give you praise, honor, and glory, dear God. For what, dear Jesus, you have bestowed on us, dear God. For most of all, Jesus, we thank you for life. Yes, we Lord. thank you for life, oh God. Yes, Heavenly Lord. Father, each morning that we wake Hallelujah. up and say, Father, we should say, Father, thank you, dear God, for another breath, dear Jesus, that we breathe, dear God. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. We acknowledge yes, what you are doing, dear Jesus. Mm. Sometimes, dear God, mm. we only be not what you ask us to carry out, dear Jesus, but in the name of the Father, dear yes, God, who shall die and Lord, dear Jesus, yes, you said, yes, dear God, you will come first, dear Jesus, Hallelujah. and we stand on your word, dear Jesus. We stand on your word, dear God, knowing, dear Jesus, what you said Hallelujah. is going to happen, it's going to happen, Jesus. And right now, dear God, we look up at you, dear Jesus, with gratitude, dear Jesus. Yes, Lord, gratitude. Dear God. Yes, Lord, gratitude. Hallelujah. Look what you take, Lord, dear God. Yes, Lord. Look what you do for them, dear Jesus. Look what you do for them, dear God. Every day, dear Jesus. Say, put your name in my dear God. Look what you're doing for me, dear Jesus. Yes, Lord. We are here to just thank you, dear God, because we are here to thank you, Jesus. Look what you're doing because of your dear God. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, into your hands, dear God. Heavenly Father, the finish yes, that Lord. you did it all for us, dear Jesus. Pour out a fresh God. And can we do by giving you thanks, honor, and glory and for you, Jesus? And Thank right now, dear God, I'm asking you, dear Jesus, to give us a heart of gratitude, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. dear God. Let yes, Lord. Say thank you. Doing your work. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus, you can use some 
Yes, I can. Take it away. Take it away. Take Hallelujah, it away. Jesus. Another Hallelujah. prayer of gratitude this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord mm. Jesus. We're grateful. We're thankful this morning, Lord. Father God, we lift your name upon high this Gratitude morning. Gratitude this morning. Oh, God, we wake up this morning. We are in our sound mind. Yes, our Jesus. bodies, our limbs are intact, mm. Lord God. We are grateful, Father. We worship you, dear God. We worship you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you this morning. Lord, Glory to God. We worship, Lord. We worship. you one of us this morning. Lord God, I pray that you will help us, Lord God, that we will be grateful Oh, God, for you riding on that donkey, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, it helps us, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, it opens our eyes, dear God. Oh, God, I'm so grateful and thankful that you did that for us, Lord God. Oh, God, this morning I pray that you will help us, Lord God, that we are kind, we are grateful, we are honest to each other, Lord God. We are helpful. Oh God, if it wasn't for your loving kindness, and goodness, where would we be this morning? Where would we be, dear God? Lord God, I'm sorry, Lord God. And thank you, God, for your many blessings. Oh God, I'm thankful that you we can meet in this passion. Lord God, the church is not the building, Lord. The church is in us. And so God, I'm thankful. We can meet this morning. We can worship freely, Lord God. Oh God, we can do everything. And we can we can fulfill you Father God, we pray that you will open your eyes and you for us in Jesus' name. Amen. You are the reason. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Curly. Thank you. Seated in majesty. Thank you, Jesus. You are the reason. Wow. 
Angela Samuels. Dr. Angela Samuels, pray for me. Gratitude. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Grateful, 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 grateful. Grateful, Daddy Jesus, that you bore it all for us. What shall we render unto Jehovah this morning? But gratefulness and appreciation, Lord, that you bore it all for us this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are so appreciative, Lord. And on a day like this, Lord, they were laying down palms, Father God, and they're saying, Hail, hallelujah. This is our King. Lord, help us not to be backbiters this morning. Help us not to be hypocrites this morning, but grateful that you died for us. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we appreciate you this morning. We love on you this morning, Lord, because I love love him because he first loved me hallelujah oh god we are grateful this morning that you woke us up you didn't have to but you did it anyhow hallelujah god we are so grateful this morning for the gathering of your saints hallelujah oh god almighty the enemy would have had us to be otherwise minded but god are we not happy that you have us on the wake up list this morning roll call roll call roll call this morning hallelujah and when you say roll call and you call each of us name god the alarm clock could not do it hallelujah but you did it oh thank you jesus hallelujah you have worn it all for us daddy jesus and we are grateful God, for two weeks now, the song keep coming in my head. Grateful, 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 grateful. Oh, God, I am so grateful this morning that you have given me, hallelujah, life. I am so grateful this morning, Lord, that you have won the victory. Oh, we are so grateful this morning, Lord, that they could not hold you. Oh, we thank you this morning. Oh, we thank you this morning. Oh, oh hallelujah. Neither have tongue of God to open up, open up our mouths, God, and praise you and sing glory unto your name, God. Because some cannot speak. Hallelujah, Lord. Some doesn't have a sound coming from their mouths. We thank you this morning, Lord. Hallelujah. That we can speak and we're glorifying your this morning because you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy you're worthy to be praised hallelujah thank you jesus glory to god hallelujah hallelujah glory to god you are the This morning, you have won the victory. Pass Angela, pass Angela, take it away. Hallelujah. Another prayer of gratitude this morning. You Hallelujah, have won Jesus. it all. Father, we are grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful. Father, we thank you, Lord. Lord, what love, God. Lord, what love, God, you had for us, man, Jesus. That even in our sin, sick state, God Almighty, Father, you are willing to give up your life. You are willing, Lord, to be crucified. Father, we are grateful. Father, we are thankful for all your love. Lord, as we come, Lord God, we come with a heart of gratitude, Lord Jesus, saying thank you, Almighty.
mighty God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for your, for your grace. Lord, thank you, Lord God, for all, Lord, that you have done. Father, we worship and we adore you, God. Father, we adore you, Lord, with our lips. But most of all, we adore you with our lives, God. And we praise and we worship you with our lives, Lord. Father, we thank you for just being God. We thank you for being King, God. I thank you, Lord, for keeping us. I thank you, Lord, for your mercies. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord, for each new day, God, that you have touched our lives, God. Father, that you have provided the strength, the courage to take each day at a time. I thank you, Lord, that even through the valley, God, Lord, you have provided resources through which, Lord God, we have strength, oh God, to go step by step. And I thank you, Lord. Your mercy is endured forever. Father, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. And we give it the you honor of God. Thank you, Jesus. You let's take it higher, pray, brethren. Death could not hold you down. worship God this morning. Can I implore you all just to release some praise in the atmosphere? Hallelujah. We glorify your name, Jesus. Can I encourage you just to open those cameras and release some praise in the atmosphere? Oh, we give you glory. We give you praise. These are praise of gratitude this morning. We honor you, Jesus. Thank you for your grace. I hope somebody in Radio Land, I hope somebody at home is understanding where I'm going with this. I hope somebody's feeling this. Gratitude this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Gratitude this morning. Thank you, Lord. Release some praise of gratitude this morning. Can I implore some person to maybe close your eyes and, and just allow yourself to, 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 to picture yourself at the scene. At the scene. As he rode into Jerusalem and the, the, the mouths that, that would let that would on Friday shall crucify him, shouting Hosanna to the king this morning. Jesus. But because you're born again, because you understand, you know what it is to, to, to be born again. You, you understand what Christ did. Hallelujah. This morning, you're at the place where you're showing gratitude. Could I just dare you to open those microphones and release some praises this morning Hallelujah. of gratitude? Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Does anyone understand what I mean when I said gratitude this morning? We worship you, Lord. We're thankful. We honor you, Lord. Thank you for the blood, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. It's all a, to gratitude means to, sh to be thankful. To show appreciation. To show kindness for what he did. I'm gratitude this morning because I can Jesus. just I keep that going, Bishop. I can just Hallelujah. picture Christ on the cross Hallelujah. and they drive with those nails into his hands and into his oh, feet. Jesus. I'm gratitude this morning when I picture the scene of Christ with that cross on his shoulder. For every step he took, he took it for you and I this morning. Aren't you gratitude? Aren't you happy for that this morning? Hallelujah, Jesus. Release some praise of gratitude Hallelujah. this morning. Am I the only one that's seen the gratitude and feeling the gratitude, the gratitude this morning? Hallelujah, Jesus. Release some praise this morning. Release some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Praise morning. Release some Hallelujah. Praise this morning. I hear you, brothers and sisters, open your mouth and release some praise break in the atmosphere this morning. I can Thank tell you, you the Lord. angels in heaven, they are rejoicing this morning. How about us? How about us? How about us this morning? Are you rejoicing this morning? 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 60 more seconds. 60 more seconds. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Release. 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 Show your gratitude this morning. Release. Release. Release this morning. Show gratitude this morning. Release this morning. Hey. Hey. Bless your name, we it is Sunday. Today is Sunday. But on Friday, he will be crucified. Oh, Robo Shiarama Seki Momo. On Sunday, the crucifixion is coming. Yes. Hallelujah. We worship you. I'm grateful this morning because I can hear him. The Jesus on the cross said, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me this morning. Hallelujah. I'm grateful this morning. I wish I, 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 I wish persons will understand and just get into that attitude, that mindset, and just release some praises this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. We glorify Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, church. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the highest praise. Magnify your name, Jesus. And the more, the more, the more I think about it, the more I picture myself at the scene. The more I picture myself at the scene. Seeing everything that has been unfolded this morning, all I can hear, all I can say is, I don't know why Jesus loves me. I, I don't, don't know, know why, why he cares. Hallelujah. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. Oh, but I'm glad. So glad he did. How about you this morning? I don't know why. Jesus loves me. Hallelujah. I don't know why he cares. He did for me this morning. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. Oh, but I'm glad. So glad he did. I want to do that one more time for somebody. Somebody. I don't know. loves me. Why are you carrying a cross, Daddy Jesus? I don't know why he cares. The scripture said the chastisement was upon his shoulders. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. loves me. Why you did it, Daddy Jesus? I don't know why he cares. I don't know why. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. Oh, but I'm glad. I'm so glad he did. And then this is the next question in my mind. Next question. Where would I be if Jesus didn't love me? Bishop, where would I be if he didn't care? <laughs> where would I be if he didn't sacrifice his life? Whoa, but I'm glad. I'm so glad he did. Can somebody touch themselves and say that? Think about it. 
about it. Where would I be if Jesus didn't love me? <laughs> Where would I be if he didn't care? Thank you, Lord. Where would I be if he didn't sacrifice his life? Oh, but I'm glad. loves me. Why, Daddy Jesus? Why? I don't know why he cares. I'm sinner like me, Lord. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. Whoa, but I'm glad. I'm so glad he did. I betrayed you so much time, but Lord, I don't know Jesus loves me. Why, Daddy Jesus? I don't know why he cares. I don't know why he sacrificed his life. Oh, but I'm glad. I'm so glad he did. And the question, where would I be, church? Where would I be if Jesus didn't love me? Dead. Dead. <laughs> Where would I be if he didn't care? In the grave. Where would I be if he didn't sacrifice his life? Oh, but I'm glad. I'm so glad he did. Hallelujah. Are you glad this morning? Just wave those hands. Are you glad this morning? Are you glad this morning? Hallelujah. Think of how, how wretched as a sinner we were, Bishop. Yes. Yet he went and he died for us. Even yes. after they shout, give us Barnabas. Crucify Jesus and give us Barabbas. He still went and died on the cross. Even after he was betrayed, he still went and did it for us. Oh, but I'm glad, so glad he did. Oh, but I'm glad, so glad he did. Oh, but I'm glad, so glad he did. Sister June, give me three shouts of hallelujah if you're thankful this morning. Hallelujah. Three shouts. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Sister Caroline, three shouts of hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Dr. Samuels, give me three shouts of hallelujah. I don't know where this is coming from. Give me three shouts of hallelujah this morning. Three shouts. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Ha hallelujah. I love that. 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 Everybody, ear up. Give me three shouts. Three shouts again, everybody. Hallelujah. Over the past gentlemen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Glory to God. Somebody give God a praise in the house. 
Somebody give God a praise in their house. He is worthy of all the glory, worthy of all the honor. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God, the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I lift up his name this morning. I give him praise. My soul exalt him this morning. My soul rejoice in the God of our salvation, the Lord of lords and the King of all kings. My soul rejoice for his goodness, for his grace, and for his mercies. Praise God. I want to use this opportunity to say welcome to Kingdom Dominion Church of God. We are celebrating Palm Sunday this Sunday morning, and we are grateful we are thankful for the God that we serve is an awesome God. He deserves the praise. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. Praise the name of Jesus. And I just want to say thank you all for joining us this morning in worship and praise. Uh, thanks for taking the time to worship and glorify God with us, our King, our Lord, the one who rule and reign forever. We are thankful and we are grateful for those on Facebook Live, welcome. Those on YouTube Live, welcome. Those on Zoom, welcome this morning to Kingdom Dominion Church of God. And I'm going to get straight into the word this morning. Praise the name of God. We're going to get into the word of God. There's a spirit of worship in the house, a spirit, an attitude of gratitude in the house this morning. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited about where this is going. I'm excited about this morning. I'm excited about what God is doing uh, in his kingdom. I'm excited about where God is taking his people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody just lift up the name of Jesus right where you are because we serve an awesome God. Uh, let us just pray before we get into the word this morning. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Thank you for waking us up this morning, for sparing our lives to see the beginning of another week. Lord, you have been good to us. You have been merciful, and we are grateful. Lord, we come uh, with thanksgiving in our hearts, and we speak it from our lips, and we give you praise and honor. Thank you for the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of we thank you, Lord, for the lamb that was slain. And we pray, God, that as we get into your word this morning, that you'll open our understanding, open our hearts to receive from your word. And at the end, you will get the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, the church of God, say amen. Our text today is from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 11. And I'm going to ask everyone, if you can, if you're able to get to your Bible, please get to your Bible. Matthew 21 verses 1 to 11. The text was already read by Sister June, so in the interest of time, I will not read it again. It is a well-known text. Matthew 21 from verses 1 to 11. Praise God. And this morning, I would like to use the theme, when Jesus came to town. Praise God. I say I would like to use as a theme this morning, when Jesus came to town. Praise God. Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 to 11 records the royal welcome of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. Jesus comes to Jerusalem as king. As Jesus entered the holy city, he approached the end of of a long journey toward Golgotha. He had come to save the lost, according to Luke 19, verse 10. And now was the time, this was the place to secure that salvation, to secure our salvation. Jesus and his disciples, they were traveling over the Mount of Olives on their way to Jerusalem. Praise God. Uh, the Lord sent two disciples ahead into the village of Bethridge to find an animal to ride. Praise God. They found the unbroken colt of a donkey, just as Jesus had said they would. And when they united, when they untied, sorry, the colt, 
the owners, the owners began to question them. The disciples responded with the answer, Jesus had need. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Lord, needs it. Praise God. Amazingly, the owners were satisfied with that answer and let the disciples go. My brothers and sisters, as I studied this text, uh, I could not help but ask myself some questions. Question one, did the owner of the donkey know Jesus? Did he already made some arrangement with Jesus for the disciples to get that donkey? Question number two that I asked myself, why was the owner of the donkey so willing to give up the animal to some complete stranger without putting up a fight? My brothers and sisters, your guess is as good as mine because I wondered if this man knew uh, who Jesus was and was willing to give up everything he had to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I couldn't help but wonder. So they brought the donkey to Jesus. And the Bible said they threw their cloaks on the donkey and they put Jesus on it. Hallelujah. Now, as Jesus ascended towards Jerusalem, the Bible said that a large multitude gathered around him. Praise God. This crowd understood that Jesus was the Messiah. What they did not understand, though, was that it wasn't time for him to set up the kingdom yet. Uh, although Jesus had tried to tell them that uh, in Luke 19 verse 11 to 12, uh, they thought that he had come to overthrow Herod, uh, but Jesus uh, was coming uh, for a different reason. Uh, he, yes, he's a king. Uh, yes, he's a king of kings and lord of lords, uh, but they misunderstood uh, the purpose for his coming. Praise God. The crowd's action uh, along the road, my brothers and sisters, uh, give rise to the name Palm Sunday, which we're celebrating today. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, uh, while others cut branches from the palm trees uh, and spread them on the road. Uh, uh, in spreading their cloaks on the road, uh, the people were giving Jesus the royal treatment. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Uh, isn't that what we do when a celebrity to come into town. Isn't that what we do when the president come into town? Isn't that what we do? We roll out the red carpet and everybody standing at attention and we clap and we shout, glory to God. But I'm here to tell somebody that a greater than the president is coming to town this morning. A greater than the president has come into town this morning and his name is Jesus Christ. And we're going to roll out the red carpet for him this morning anybody with me this morning we are gonna we're gonna worship him this morning we're gonna praise him like we have never praised him before as we have already started we're gonna glorify him as we have never glorified him before thank you jesus when jesus comes to town church of god king jehu was given a similar treatment on his coronation in second kings 9 Verse 13, the book of John records the detail that the branches they cut were from palm trees. And that's how we know. Uh, and that's how it was called Palm Sunday. On the first Palm Sunday, my brothers and sisters, the people also honored Jesus verbally. They did not just throw clothes on the ground and palm trees. They honored him with their lips. Glory to God. They lifted up their voices. Oh, glory to God. The crows that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, they opened their mouth and they said something 
something to him. Uh, some of them said, Hosanna in the highest. And that's why uh, I, I don't believe in quiet praise, my brothers and sisters. When we come to the house of the Lord, uh, we must open our mouth. Uh, we must lift up our voice like a trumpet. Uh, we must tell him something. Hallelujah. For he has been good to us. Uh, one songwriter said, when I think of the goodness of, of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cry out, hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Uh, he cried out. He couldn't remain quiet uh, because of the goodness of God. Zana in the highest. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The word Hosanna is from a Hebrew word meaning save, rescue, or savior. So these people knew what they were saying. They were waiting for him to come and save them. They were under bondage uh, uh, in, uh, in, in, in Jerusalem. And they were waiting for the Messiah to come and deliver them. In their praise of Jesus, the Jewish crowds were quoting Psalm 118, verse 25 to 26. And they acknowledged the prophecy that was there of Jesus Christ. Uh, the reference uh, in Psalm 118 uh, is a reference of uh, the Messiah. It, and, and when uh, they repeated that reference, uh, the Bible said it drew resentment from the religious leaders present. Uh, some of the scribes and the Pharisees in the crowds said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. Hallelujah. However, Jesus saw no need to reprimand those who told the truth. Uh, he replied to the scribes, to the Pharisees, I tell you, if I keep, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. And this reminds me of a popular song that we sing. Uh, it says, ain't no rock gonna cry in my place. As long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Ain't no bird gonna flap its feathers. As long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Ain't no tree gonna wave its branches as long as I'm alive to glorify his holy name. Ain't no rock gonna stand in my place, church of God, as long as I'm alive to glorify his name. I'm gonna lift up my voice. I'm gonna wave my hands. I'm gonna dance for him sometimes. I'm gonna lift up my voice and I'm gonna say hallelujah. I'm gonna give him the great highest praise. I'm going to say thank you Jesus. Uh, thank you for saving me. Thank you for providing. Uh, thank you for protection. Glory to God. Somebody lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh glory to God. Uh, uh, Minister Wellington read Zechariah 9 verse 9 this morning which says rejoice greatly daughter Zion. Shout uh, Daughter uh, Jerusalem, see your king comes to you, righteous uh, and victorious, uh, lowly and riding on a donkey, donkey on a colt, the fall of a donkey. This prophecy, my brothers and sisters, uh, was fulfilled on the first Palm Sunday. And it was indeed a time of rejoicing uh, as Jesus, uh, uh, sorry, as Jerusalem welcomed uh, their king. Uh. Unfortunately, my brothers and sisters, uh, the celebration was not to last. Glory to God. Uh. The crowds looked for a Messiah who would rescue them uh, politically and free them nationally. But Jesus had come to save them spiritually. Glory to God. Uh. My brothers and sisters, uh, mankind's prime primary need is, is spiritual, not political. Our primary need is spiritual, not political. As multitudes waved the palm branches and shouted for joy, they missed the true reason for Jesus coming to town. Hallelujah. They could neither see nor understand the cross. And that is why in Luke 19 verse 41 to 47, as Jesus approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it, my brothers and sisters. And this is what Jesus said, if you, even you, had only known this day what would bring you 
peace uh, but now it is hidden from your eyes uh, the people didn't even understand why he came uh, they didn't even understand why he came to town hallelujah uh, Jesus went on to say the days will come uh, upon you when your enemies uh, will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of God's coming to you uh, uh, so Jesus alluded to the fact uh, that the people did not understand uh, the cross. They did not understand the meaning of Jesus coming to town. Praise God. My brothers and sisters, uh, it is a tragic thing uh, to see the Savior but not recognize him for who he is or not understanding his purpose for coming into town. Hallelujah. The crowds who were crying out Hosanna on the first Palm Sunday were crying out crucify him later that same week. Church of God, the same crowd that pour their clothes out on the ground the same crowd uh, that say hosanna in the highest uh, the same crowd uh, that said uh, glory to god uh, the same crowd uh, that said we magnify your name lord uh, the same crowd uh, that was throwing their clothes their best clothes uh, on the ground for jesus uh, the same crowd uh, that went and searched for palm branches uh, and cut them down and travel and put it on the ground the same crowd Crowd, uh, seven days during the same week on Good Friday, the same crowd was saying, crucify him. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The same mouth that worshiped God uh, is the same God that say crucify him. The same mouth that said, Lord, I love you, is the same mouth that uh, 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 turn, say, turn, up, turn your back on him and say crucify him. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. So as we reflect on this story about the triumphant entry of Jesus into Jerusalem, I want us to focus on two things uh, that Jesus brought with him uh, when he came to town. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. When Jesus came to town, uh, he brought peace uh, to a world in turmoil. Church of God. I said when Jesus came to town, uh, he brought peace to to a world in turmoil. The second thing I, I want to focus on this morning is when Jesus came to town, he brought everlasting life to a dying world. Let me go to my first point. When Jesus came to town, he brought peace to a world in turmoil. What is peace? The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines peace as a state of tranquility or quiet. While the Oxford Dictionary defines peace as the state of being calm or quiet, such as when describing a place as peaceful or saying your mind is at peace. Hallelujah. How many people love to have peace in their home? Come on, raise your hand. You don't have to say anything. You just want some peace in your home. You don't necessarily need a lot of food or a lot of money. You just want some peace. Uh, nothing beats when you can have some peace in your home, peace in your mind. Glory to God. Peace. Uh, another definition is a stress-free state of security and calmness that comes when there's no fighting or war. Everything coexisting in perfect harmony and freedom however my brothers and sisters peace in the bible is a bit different biblical peace my brothers and sisters is more than just the absence of conflict or a state of rest the hebrew word for peace is shalom which implies the notion of totality or completeness or success or fulfillment, wholeness, harmony, security, and well-being. My brothers and sisters, when Jesus came to town, he brought peace to a world in 
turmoil, hallelujah. And as I immersed myself in the world of this text, I saw a large crowd bowing down and worshiping the Prince of Peace, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Ah, I saw, I saw, I saw the Prince of Peace riding on a donkey. And I saw people rolling out the red carpet and laying their clothes, laying on palms on the ground. My brothers and sisters, don't you wish that you were, you were there? Don't you wish that you were in their presence when Jesus, the Prince of Peace, was coming into town for the first time? The saved of the world, wouldn't you have wanted to be at this place? You can stretch your imagination even now. Oh, glory to God and see what's happening there. I see everybody pushing one another, trying to get closer to Jesus, bowing down and worshiping him. I see people running with their machetes, trying to farm a palm, find a palm tree because they want to put down their palm branches too. They were not satisfied with just watching other people uh, celebrating the king. They were not satisfied with watching everybody praising him, watching everybody giving to him. But they wanted to give something. They wanted to make a sacrifice because the Prince of Peace was coming into town and he was bringing the peace that passes all understanding. Oh, glory to God. He was bringing a peace that you can have even when everything is going wrong. Glory to God. Somebody praise the name of Jesus, the Prince of Peace, uh, the King of Kings. Uh, as, I, as, I, as I put myself into the world of this text, my brothers and sisters, uh, I started looking at the donkey. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, and I was wondering, uh, why is Jesus riding on a donkey? Why didn't he get a nice horse uh, or a stallion or something? Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, now, my brothers and sisters, the use of a donkey instead of a horse uh, is symbolic. Yes, uh, the use of the donkey instead of a horse uh, is highly symbolic. Uh, it represents the humble arrival of someone in peace. Uh, Church of God. Uh, can I say that again? I said the, the use of the donkey by Jesus was very symbolic. It represented the humble arrival of someone in peace uh, 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 as opposed to arriving on a stallion in war. When the, when, when, when the Roman soldiers were coming for war, they ride a stallion. They rode a horse because the stallion is fast and more more powerful. Uh, the stallion is more versatile. Come on, church. Uh, but Jesus was not coming to fight a war. Uh, he was coming with peace. Uh, so when Jesus came to town, uh, he brought peace, my brothers and sisters, uh, to a world in turmoil. Uh, John 3, 17 says, uh, for God did not send his son into the world uh, to condemn the world uh, but that the world through him might be saved uh, Jesus didn't come to condemn you my brothers and sisters uh, he did not come to put you down uh, he came to bring peace uh, uh, Paul went on to admonish uh, the believers in Romans 8 verse 1 he said there is therefore now no condemnation uh, to those which are in Christ Jesus uh, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit hallelujah glory to God Jesus saying John 14 27 peace i leave with you my peace i give unto you not as the world give it give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid therefore since we have been justified by faith the bible says we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ hallelujah jesus did not come to town to convict or to sentence or to judge you my brothers and sisters he came to make peace between us and god because jesus is the prince of peace when jesus came to town he brought peace to a world in turmoil somebody praise god hallelujah Oh, glory to God. So even when everything is going wrong, uh, people are dying. Even during the pandemic, uh, your family members may be dying. Uh, you're running out of money. Oh, uh, you lost your job. Uh, even you get sick uh, and you're on your sick bed. Uh, you still have a settled peace in your heart. Uh, you still can worship your God. Uh, you still can praise your God. Uh, because you know Jesus uh, is the Prince of Peace. Uh, and he gives you a peace that passes uh, all understanding. 
understanding. And even though worm eating up your flesh and you are sick, yet you're going to praise God. And you know, one of these days, even if you die, you shall see God. Ah, because the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Blessed is the name of the Lord. Somebody give him praise. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. This brings me down to my second point. When Jesus came to town, my brothers and sisters, he brought eternal life to a dying world. When Jesus came to town, he brought eternal life to town. He brought eternal life to town, church of God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I want to go to a second object that I observe when I put myself in the world of the text. Uh, hallelujah. I, I, I observe the palm branches on the ground. Yes. I observe a whole lot of palm branches. Uh, but what does the use of the palm branch symbolize, my brothers and sisters? The palm branch, my brothers and sisters, is a symbol of victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It is a symbol of triumph. It's a symbol of peace. It's a symbol of eternal life originating in the ancient Near East and Mediterranean world. Go do your own research if you don't believe me. Oh, the palm branch is a symbol of eternal life. Glory to God. The palm was sacred in Mesopotamian religions and ancient Egypt represented and in ancient Egypt, it represented immortality. Ah, is, is anybody with me? <laughs> I said the palm branch in ancient Egypt represented immortality. Glory to God. The palm tree, my brothers and sisters, is a picture of the upright as clearly indicated in Psalm 92 verse 12. Psalm 92 verse 12 says, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Hallelujah. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Glory to God. Do we have any righteous folks in the house this morning? Oh, all the righteous folks, just wave your hand and praise God now. Just wave your hand, righteous people. I don't see nobody. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, mighty God. Come on, all the righteous folks. The, the, the Bible said the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Oh, no one can destroy you. No weapon from against you can prosper. And every tongue that rise up against you, God going to bring them down. Hallelujah. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar on Lebanon. Glory to God. I want to share something else about the palm tree. Because it was symbolic. It was symbolic in the story. Now, depending on the species, some palms can live for more than a century. It said. That means the palm you plant might outlive you. There is also recent evidence, my brothers and sisters, that at the cellular level, Palms may indeed be the oldest living trees because their cells are not replaced with new cells, as in the case with other trees. So when Jesus came to town, my brothers and sisters, he brought eternal life uh, to a dying world. He brought eternal life to us. Uh, uh, what is eternal life? When the Bible speaks of eternal life, it refers to a gift of God that comes only through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Bible tells us in Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is what? Eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift of eternal life, my brothers and sisters, come to those who believe in the Lord Jesus, who is himself the resurrection and the life. In John 11.25, 
He said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Even though you were dead, yet shall you live. Hallelujah. Jesus was literally saying that resurrection and life is not an event in the future. Uh, it is something that's very present because I am it. Jesus himself is resurrection and life. Resurrection is a person in, in the form of Jesus Christ. The fact, the fact that this life is eternal indicates that it is a perpetual life. It goes on and on and on with no end. That's what eternal life means. It is our current possession, my brothers and sisters. The Bible tells us in John 3 verse 36, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. So if you believe that Jesus is Lord, if you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior, you already have eternal life. You already possess it. You start living forever and forever. That's what the Bible says. My brothers and sisters, note uh, that the believer has present, has this life presently. Once you accept Jesus Christ, you have it now. You're not waiting in the future to get eternal life. The Bible says whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. We need to understand that concept. We, need, we don't need to wait until in the future when we die and raise again to experience eternal life. No, we can experience it right now. Glory to God. Jesus himself said it. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Ah, the Bible also tells us that in the New Jerusalem, ah, the Apostle John was given a revelation of the future. In the New Jerusalem, John saw a river flowing from the throne of God and of, uh, uh, the throne of God of the Lamb. And on each side of the river stood the tree of life and the leaves of the tree were falling uh, for the healing of the nations. In, and in the Garden of Eden, we all know the story how man rebelled against God and was banished from the tree of life uh, but there's coming a future time my brothers and sisters when God will graciously restore uh, access to that tree of life church of God uh, this access is provided through Jesus Christ uh, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world what am I saying uh, you can get access to that tree of life right now uh, if you are on the line watching on Facebook uh, on YouTube live or Zoom uh, and you don't know Jesus Christ uh, if you are accept him today you can start uh, experiencing that tree of life uh, that, uh, that eternal life uh, because anyone who accepts Jesus Christ uh, have eternal life in him somebody should praise God uh, so you should open your mouth right now and say devil you can't kill this uh, devil you can't destroy this uh, because I have Jesus uh, and once I have Jesus uh, I have eternal life uh, for Jesus is resurrection and his life somebody praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Oh, every, every sinner is invited to know Christ uh, and to receive eternal life. Uh, let the one who is thirsty come, Revelation say. Let the one who wishes to take the free gift uh, of water of life come. Uh, Jesus is available right now. Oh, glory to God. How can you know that you have eternal life? Uh, I said it before. You must confess your sin before God. Uh, then accept God's provision uh, uh, of a savior. Everyone who calls on the name of Jesus, the Bible says, will be saved. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he died for your sins. He rose again the third day. Oh, glory to God. This is the good news of the gospel. John simply put it like this. God has given eternal life, and this life is in his son. Somebody praise him. I say eternal life is in Jesus. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. That's the word of God. When Jesus came to town, he brought eternal life to a dying world. Glory to God. In conclusion, my brothers and sisters, when Jesus came to town, he brought peace to a world in turmoil. Hallelujah. He said, cast all your cares upon him, for he cared for you. Glory to God. Ah, uh, he's admonished, the Bible admonished us in Philippians 4, 6 to 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Let with thanksgiving. 
let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind through Jesus Christ. Jesus saying, John 14, 27, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Uh, let not your heart be afraid. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, uh, and he's in town. Uh, he's ready to give you peace. Uh, when Jesus came to town, uh, he brought everlasting life uh, to a dying world. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world uh, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed on him should not perish, uh, but have everlasting life. Glory to God. Uh, whoever believes in the son have life. Uh, whoever don't believe have no life. Glory to God. Uh, Ah, uh, the Lord, uh, the Lord clearly tell us uh, that we should enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate, uh, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many are there that find it. But small is the gate, uh, and narrow is the road uh, that leads to eternal life, uh, and only a few there that finds it. My brothers and sisters, we want you to find that gate. Uh, we want you to walk through that gate uh, so that you can start experiencing uh, eternal life. Uh, hallelujah glory to god uh, let us pray let us pray father in the name of jesus we give you praise we glorify your name lord oh hallelujah somebody lift up the name of jesus father we thank you for bringing us peace into a world of turmoil you tell us to cast all our cares upon you because you care for us you tell us we should worry about nothing. And somebody say, why worry when we can pray? Because we know, God, that whatever we ask in your name, you will do it. He said, if we abide in you and your words abide in us, then we can ask whatever we wish and we shall get it. Almighty God, we thank you for those words. You are not a man that you should lie. You are a God of your word. You are faithful to your word, God. Oh, you said we should let our requests be made known to you and we should be thankful. We should ask and we shall receive. We must seek and we will find. You said we should knock and the door will be open and God will believe your word. Hallelujah. You said you leave peace with us, God. Oh, you didn't come to destroy us or to condemn us. You came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. And Father, there's someone on this line on Facebook, YouTube, or Zoom that does not already know you. We pray that Holy Spirit, you will convict them right now. Oh, Holy Spirit, speak to their hearts. Holy Spirit, captivate their mind right now. Let them understand that the moment they accept you as Lord and Savior, they begin to experience experience eternal life they begin to experience a peace that passes all understanding a peace that they can use to go to bed at night even when everything is going wrong hallelujah Oh, mighty God, when you came to town, Lord, you brought us everlasting life. And Father, we thank you for sending your son to the cross so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. We thank you, God, because the wages of sin is death, but you have given us a gift, which is eternal life. We choose that gift, mighty God, of eternal life. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Help us, God, to enter through the, the right gate, the now gate the gate that leads to eternal life oh father we give you praise we give you honor and we thank you god for salvation father if there's anyone out there who don't know you we admonish them right now god to accept you and acknowledge that they are sinners for the wages of sin is death but god has a gift of eternal life father if there's anyone out there that's not saved, that's hearing us right now. We believe that you are going to touch their lives. And we say to them, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. We admonish them, God, that if they confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead, then they will be saved. For with the heart... We believe to righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So right now, God, we give you all the glory. 
and the honor and the praise. And we thank you for the souls that will be saved and delivered this morning and this time. Father, we ask these mercies in the name of Jesus. And we tell you thanks. Praise God. I'm going to turn back to our moderator who is coming to do the rest of the service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. There's room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there is still room for one. There is room at the cross for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. At this time, Minister Wellington is preparing to come and sing for us. But uh, I just want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you to, at, the, at this time, to give unto the Lord, to give back. We are going to, we're going to have our tithes and our offering. You know, on such a day as today, where, where we are thankful, we are grateful. We heard about what Christ has done for us. We are grateful. And uh, let us stretch our gratefulness, our thankfulness, not just with our lips, but with our resources. We believe in giving tithes unto God's kingdom unto God. And, uh, you know, um, right on your screen, you can see where you can give. Give unto the, unto the Lord and allow this ministry to prosper. Allow this ministry to spread the gospel to others and to pull others into the kingdom. Hallelujah. You can give online, www.kdcog.com. Also, you can give Zell Kingdom Dominion. That's, or it, you can use the email address, info at kdcog.com. Or you can give by Cash App, um, dollar sign, P-A-S-T-O-R-C-L-I-F-F. FTDM. Um, you can also mail in your donation in care of Kingdom Dominion Church of God, 96 Pleasant Hill Road, Conyers, Georgia, 30012. I hope you have been blessed. I hope you have been touched by God. And if you have not surrendered, that you will surrender. You have surrendered your life to Christ because he will be the best thing that, I, that would ever happen to you. At this time, Minister Wellington is going to sing for us as you give and worship God. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. As I listened to the such powerful word from our bishop, a song came to mind, and um, I just looked it up and decided I'm going to try this song this morning. Yes. Amen. He left the splendor of heaven Knowing his death was alone the hill of Gagata there he lay down his life for me if that
Thank you, Jesus. If that isn't love, my God, my God, if that isn't love, hallelujah. Just a couple announcements, important announcements as, as we go. Um, please, please be out. And we are going to ask everyone to support our youth service this Friday. Our youth service this Friday at uh, at 7 p.m. All right. It um and they yes they're going to be having service on Good Friday. So please, so please support them. Um, and bring your youths out. And uh, on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, we also we have uh, our Bible study a very active, participative Bible study enriching where we learn the word of God and we dig deep. So you're invited. And uh, these services are held on Zoom for those on Facebook. The ID is 678-462-2563. And the password is one two three four five all right and um you're invited to our bible study every wednesdays we have our bible study and every first friday of the month we have our youth service and uh, and uh, please be back out uh, Easter Sunday. That is next Sunday. You just can't afford to miss it. It's going to be an awesome service. Please be out um, um, this coming Sunday, Easter Sunday. And of course, every first Sunday of the month in the evening, we are, we are going to have our marriage and relationship enrichment seminar. That is the first Sunday 
of every month and it's this coming Sunday, the 4th of April at 7 p.m. Um, please be out. And our women's ministry, the second Saturday, April 10th, our next women's ministry at 7.30 p.m., you're invited. Men's ministry, the third Saturday, um, April 17th, you're also invited. All right. At this time, we are going to sing a special song. And for those that were birthed in the month of uh, in the month of March. All right. This is the last day for us to wish you a happy birthday for those who were born in the month of March. All right. May God bless you. And this is for you. Da, 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 bum, 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 A happy bum, birthday, a great big to do. Bum, 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 Let's celebrate, yeah, celebrate you. So make a wish, make a wish on your special day. You're looking great, so great. come celebrate. A happy birthday from us to you. From the place, yes, from the place where dreams do come true. So here's a wish, one, two, three, four, part harmony. Happy birthday, your special day. To you. Yes, to you. May God bless you. You were created in the image of God. And you are